Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. I'm so excited that you're here at the channel today. We're gonna pound it out with QuickBooks Point of Sale. We're gonna learn something new today, don't you think? <laughs> All right, so today the focus of our topic is going to be how can I edit a receiving voucher that I've already saved? Uh, I've saved it, it's done, it looks like it's set in stone. What am I gonna do because I screwed up and I need to just edit this receiving voucher? So we're gonna jump into that, but before we do, go ahead and click on the link down below in the description. It's gonna get you over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can learn more about QuickBooks Point of Sale. You can ask your own questions about errors and other what have you, uh, things that you're wondering about QuickBooks Point of Sale, or you could request a video for this channel. People such as myself and other people will uh, have a great dialogue there with you and we'll work through this together. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you get all the latest and greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos all the time. All right, let's do this. I just completed a receiving voucher for Knives Unlimited. I, I uh, received two different products over here and I just realized that uh, I screwed up on the freight fee and I also was supposed to receive two big dumb boots or some two two quantities of this product I guess and so what am I gonna do uh, I'm looking all around I can't see anything that says I can edit it um, I, I just I have no idea what to do right <laughs> I actually do but maybe that's what you're thinking to yourself uh, so I will mention that if if the problem is that you haven't entered your billing information, that particular piece of information can still be entered as long as the receiving voucher has not gone over to QuickBooks accounting. Uh, same with discount fee and freight. So if I hit enter billing info, I can actually still do that for this voucher as long as I have not done a financial exchange yet. And then also, if I go to enter discount fee and freight, I can actually change that before sending it over to QuickBooks Accounting. So that's pretty handy. If those are the issues, then you can certainly change those things. Like I said, I, I had screwed up on the shipping. It was actually uh, 9.50, I guess. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now, as far as the issue being that I need to enter quantity two of this, that is a completely different story. And here is how we would combat that issue. What you're gonna do is you're going to select the voucher that you need to change, and you're gonna hit copy. And then you are going to fix immediately, right now, what was wrong with it. So I'm gonna go to quantity two, now what I've done is, is hitting copy has actually created a new voucher that is an exact mirror of the old voucher, but you can change things, so it's a new copy of it. So now that I've fixed it, I got quantity two. I can save or save and print, and that is a done deal. And now I need to go back to the receiving history, and you can see that I have Knives Unlimited from today, and then I have Knives Unlimited, a new one. And the new one has quantity two, the old one has quantity one. And so just to complete this process, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse the original one, the one that was bad. Reversing this voucher will add the items back to the purchase order. I don't really care about that because we already created another copy. Would you like to set the status of the purchase order to open? I'm gonna say no because I already did my copy and reversing this document will generate a vendor credit in your QuickBooks. That is completely fine because that vendor credit will actually be crossed out by the new receiving voucher. So since we um, made a new one, then we can undo the old one. Broad overview, which I probably should have explained first, is you have, let, let me sort these by date here, all right. So you have a receiving voucher and then you reversed it so it got undone 
and then you redid it with that copy, except you went in a slightly different order. The problem is you got you have to make the copy first while there is a voucher to copy, right? You can't reverse it first because then you'd be copying a reversed voucher. <laughs> Does that make sense? So you're going to copy, edit, save, and then reverse the old one. Maybe that makes sense. Copy the bad one, edit it, save it, and then reverse the bad one. I think that makes sense to you. So now that you've done that, you've done it right, you've updated the quantity, and this is generally how you are going to edit a receiving voucher. I know it seems complicated, you can't just open it and edit it, but this is the process you have to do for it to make sense to your accounting system. All right, my name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and smash that like button down below. And if you have anything else to say or questions, you can certainly leave a comment down below. But I'll be looking forward to seeing you over in our Facebook community. We can talk more there. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.